Snow is falling here at Red Shore Charlottetown as the field of nine for the afternoon's fourth race lines up in behind the Metro Home Building Center starting gate. Let's go back to Vance Cameron. Shelly Spirit, watch your bet, Greystone Shadow. Redland Peaches, it's model time. Le Vion Bell, Princess Royale, ATM Treasurer, Czar's Peace of Heaven. Top of the stretch. Here they come. Rough and pacing. Livy on Bell will get the first call. Shelly Spirit along the rail. Third one to the turn. Towards the inside is Watcher Bat. Racing up in between horses. Greystone Shadow. Princess Royale three wide fifth. Sars Piece of Heaven six. On the outside seventh. Redland Peaches. Then in eighth it's model time. And trailing ninth. That's ATM Treasure. On the back stretch they go. Led to the quarter. Shelly Spirit. And Bim Ford. But here's a Redland Peaches picking them off. And I'm I mean, picking them off with Campbell, and she's clear on the lead on by the opening quarter. Redland Peaches takes over. Shelly Spirit is second, reaching from third to watch her bet 30. And for the quarter, they're strung out, and I mean well strung out in here. Back into fourth is Le'Veon Bell. Racing fifth, that's Greystone Shadow. Princess Royale's in sixth. Czar's Peace of Heaven has seventh. Then on the outside, eighth, ATM Treasure. And now the trailer. It's model time is ninth. They're halfway home. And that's Redland Peaches, the midway point leader. Shelly Spirit is second. Racing third, watch your bet. Up into fourth, Princess Royale, the half mile in 101. One and a one racing from fifth. That's Le'Veon Bell on the outside. ATM Treasure takes over six. Race Stone Shadow is seventh. It's model time on the outside eighth. And now the trailer ninth. That is Zars Piece of Heaven. Three quarters comes next. Redland Peaches clear by five at three quarters. Racing second. Shelly Spirit on the outside. Princess Royale third. Racing from fourth. ATM Treasurer. The three quarters trip. 15 one 32 and 1, and it's all Redland Peaches in here. May have 10 on them turning home. Up to second on the outside is Princess Royale. Shelly Spirit is third, but Redland Peaches, the McWicked Philly for Campbell, absolutely jogs in here. Second, there's three of them across the track, and they'll be looking out a place picture. No need for a win photo. Redland Peaches home in 201. Flat. Here comes a slow-mo replay brought to you by Universal Media here for the afternoon's fourth race. Going to the quarter, it was Shelly Spirit in 30 and 4. But like a flash, Redland Peaches got to the front. 101 and 1 to the half, down to three quarters and 1, 32 and 1. And she's on cruise control here today. Second lifetime start, 2 for 2. Mark Campbell in the bike for this one, 201 flat. Here for Redland Peaches and the owners, Mark McDonald, Josh McDonald, Gordon Coles, and Ian Ingham Jenkins. The trainer, Mike McGuigan, Mark Campbell in the bike, as I said. And it is close for second. Three of them across the track, not posted yet. But we will see Redland Peaches and Mark Campbell in the winner's circle next. Once again, this filly pretty awesome in two lifetime starts. Going away winner again today here at Charlottetown. Redland Peaches in the fourth race winner's circle. Bay pacing filly two by McWicket off the 
Captain Treacherous Dam, Alexander Valley, owned by Mark McDonald, Josh McDonald, Gordon Coles, and Ingham Jenkins. Bred by Arnold Hagen of Bible Hill, Nova Scotia. Trained by Mike McGuigan and Mark Campbell with a catch driving call to the winner's circle. Philly scores in 2 one Redland Peaches delivers in the fourth. 